busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh. <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig and Mr. Rufus and I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and 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 I'd oh mother <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> Let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you! The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame and she split on you! I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal! Carla...